start exploring. What is the Internet? Internet is arguably the largest engineered system created by humans. Throughout this course, we will use the Internet as our principal vehicle to learn about computer networks. To be able to do that, we need a definition for the Internet. So, what is the Internet? First, let's provide a nuts and bolts definition, meaning defining it by the hardware and software that are its components. Laptops, PCs, smartphones, servers, tablets, TVs, gaming consoles, and internet phones running network applications are all examples of devices that can be connected to the internet. We call them hosts or end systems. Let's play a fun game here. Can you name a few devices that could not be listed as hosts a few years ago, but they are now? I will give you an example. Refrigerators, some more, coffee machines, and light bulbs. Some refrigerators nowadays have internet connection, browsers, and maybe automatic online ordering mechanisms. Some coffee makers now can order finished capsules, and light bulbs are controlled through another device, for example, your phone, through the internet. Now, can you think about a few devices that are not connected now, but might be connected to the internet a few years from now? I will leave that for you as a challenge. Statista reported the number of active connections from end systems in 2015 as 3.8 billion. The number is 9.9 .9 billion in March 2020, and is predicted to reach 20 billion by 2025. These end systems are connected to each other through communication links. Communication links can use different types of media, for example, fiber, copper, or wireless links using radio spectrum. Different links have different rates of transmission. We will discuss a few examples of communication links later. Switches and routers are devices that are placed in the intersection of the communication links. They receive data in their incoming links and place it on their outgoing links. Switches do this using a mechanism called switching and routers through a mechanism that is called routing. Later in this course, we will discuss the details of each of these functionalities. Computer networks are in many ways similar to the transportation networks of roads, highways, and intersections. In this example, buildings are similar to the hosts or end systems. Roads are similar to communication links, and switches and routers are similar to intersections. A package of data is similar to a physical package traveling the path from the sending building to the receiving building using these roads and finding the path through choosing the turns to the next road in the intersections. Hosts, communication links, and routers, and switches are the nuts and bolts of the internet. Let's talk about another way we can define internet. From the point of view of the service it provides to the applications. We can define the internet as a network of interconnected internet service providers, providing network services to the applications. Internet applications like video streaming, web browsing, and video conferencing, and different smartphone and tablet applications are distributed applications. They are called distributed because they involve multiple end systems exchanging data with each other to offer their service. The applications run on end systems, and the exchange of data happens over the Internet. Therefore, the Internet can be seen as the infrastructure to provide services 
to distributed applications. A little bit more. This infrastructure provides a programming interface called socket interface to the applications. Going back to the package and transportation example we used in the nuts and bolts definition, the service that internet provides could be compared to the postal service. And the socket interface could be called the postal service interface. That is, a set of rules a person follows to package what they want to send and put the sending and receiving address and deliver it to the post office to send it out so it can go through the path from the sending building to pass along the roads and intersections and arrive at the destination building.